Hello and welcome to part two of our tapping adventure, EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Uh, today's tapping session is going to be helping us to release um, the beliefs that we're not good enough, um, that we don't deserve love or happiness or uh, whatever it is that we think that we don't deserve. So we're going to start with the karate chop point on the side of the hand. Take a deep breath in. Exhale with a sigh. Even though part of me believes that I can't be kind or good to myself unless I'm perfect, I love and accept myself completely right here, right now. Even though being kind and loving to myself feels a little foreign and strange and uncomfortable to me, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I am pretty good at being mean to myself sometimes and part of me has held on to that, I'm open to letting it go. Okay, eyebrow point, we're just going to give voice to this thought. I can't be kind and loving to myself. Not until, and then finish that sentence with whatever comes to mind for you. I can't be kind and loving to myself, side of I, until, until I lose weight, until I get that job, until I prove myself, whatever it is for you under the eye. I can't be kind or loving to myself under the nose until I'm perfect under the mouth, until I reach my goals, collarbone, until everyone around me is happy. Under the arm, I don't deserve kindness. Top of the head, but maybe one day I'll earn it. Eyebrow. I recognize these thoughts, side of the eye. They've been swirling under the surface in there for so long, under the eye, that I've mistaken them for the truth. Under the nose. And being kind and loving to myself, under the mouth, it's just not something I'm used to. Collarbone. Because part of me fears that if I'm kind to myself, if I'm loving to myself, then I won't make the changes that I want to make under the arm. And I recognize this. Top of the head, my mind has been playing tricks on me. Eyebrow. And I've been waiting for the moment when I achieve all my goals and then I can be kind and loving to myself and then I can be happy, side of the eye. But life is right now, under the eye. And I've been putting my happiness on hold, under the nose. This time between where I am and where I want to be is my life. And I don't want to waste it, allowing myself to feel good now, top of the head, allowing myself to make mistakes, eyebrow, allowing myself to figure out things as I go along, side of the eye, we're all doing the best we can, under the eye, and I'm ready to be kind and loving to myself under the nose, being kind to myself, under the mouth, and recognizing all that's good. Collarbone, coming back into my body, feeling grounded, centered. Life is happening right now, top of the head. And I deserve my own love and kindness. All right. Take a nice deep breath in and just check in with how you feel, breathing in love and kindness and peace for yourself. 
And now think the thought, I can't be kind and loving to myself until whatever it was you said. And now does that feel just like a thought or is there still some charge there? So if there's still a charge, you can go back through the video from the beginning and uh, just work it until there's, it's just a thought and uh, it doesn't impact you and you can just let it come up and out and let it come up and let it go. So just notice how you feel. Every time you do the tapping, just notice what changes within you. And if it just loses that charge, whatever it is that you're tapping on. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today and doing something nice for yourself. I send you many blessings and lots of love and light. I would love it if you would like the video and share it if you if you know somebody who might like to tap along with us and uh, subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you'd like to get the notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for your support.